This video will be a quick demonstration of the first release of Rosara Server. The first step is to download the Rosara Server virtual machine from our website and run it. Then you need to go through the simple setup wizard. The first step is to configure the server's IP. In this case, the defaults are fine. Then you configure the time zone. You set a name for your server and the name of your domain. Then you enter a secure password. And you set your DHCP range for clients on your network. And now it's provisioning your domain. Now the server's configuration is complete, so we can click Finished. Once the setup wizard is complete, the server will launch the management console. You can also install the management console on your PC running Windows or Linux, which is what I'm going to do now. On my Windows PC, I have installed the server management console. The client will automatically find the Rosara server on the network. All I have to do is log in. The management console is divided between five different sections. User management, computer management, shares for file sharing, storage devices, and server information. Adding a user to the system is easy. Just go down and click the Add button. If I'm adding multiple users, the tool stays open until I'm finished. One neat feature of Rosara Server is that you can modify multiple users at once. You can also change passwords on the fly. Rosara Server also makes creating file shares and drive maps incredibly easy. I simply select a folder on my hard disk, and my share is created. To set up drive mapping for my share, I simply go to the Drive Maps tab. I can select to map for everyone, or map by individual user, group, or by computer. I can also set permissions on the share. The storage tab tells me what storage devices I have available to the server. If I were to plug in a new storage device, it would automatically be added to the list. This tool will become more powerful when the backup features have been implemented. The server tab gives me information about my server. It also allows me to restart important services. I can also change the date and time and review important system logs. Now let's add a computer to the domain. I will join my Windows XP computer to the domain we just created. Windows 7 would also work. Rosara Server creates a standard Active Directory domain, so we can join the computer in the traditional method. Now the computer has been joined to the domain. We'll need to reboot for it to take effect. Now that the computer has been joined to the domain, it will show up in the Computers tab of the Management Console. While that is rebooting, we will set up a drive map we can test when we log into the domain.
we will set the drive map to map for everyone with the letter X. Now we will log on to the domain with the user we created earlier. Now if I go to my computer, I will see the group folder mapped as drive X. And that concludes our demo. In under five minutes, we provisioned a domain, created users and drive maps, and joined a computer. Please download Rasara Server and try it for yourself.